This programme is brought to you by Mental Arts and Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie McLernan at Farmer Auto Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Hello, good afternoon. It's lonely cab action from K Park, quarter final stage. East Kilbride all well, they know about winning this competition, don't they? They won it at the home of Galfrey and Rovers last year. It wasn't Galfrey and Rovers, they played right enough, it was great that, but they know that ground well and they know Fairy and Rovers well from league opposition and now it's lonely cup time. It's a nice day outside and it's nice to see Jack Smith back in the starting lineup for EK partnering Craig Hastings has really blossomed and starting a heck of a lot recently. Martin McBride captain the side in place of Barry Russell who isn't involved today and it is the Man that was brought in recently, David Proctor, with all his experience higher up in the leagues, really fitting well onto Craig Howie in the centre half pairings. For Ferdinand Rovers, Mark Wilson will may well be busy uh, today, but there's a decent goalkeeper, Jackie and Stuart Noble, are lively figures up front. Billy Miller scored at the game at Netherdale, who is on the bench in the league campaign game earlier this season, right in fact near the start of the season. So there is threats despite their lowly position in the Lone League table. And you never know in a cup game, do you? And the wayside are in their uh, white, predominantly tops and black shorts. Kelby in their usual home strips. And it is the wayside that gets off and underway. Jackie and Stuart Noble getting the ball rolling. Lost it here now, play on through Hastings. Not. Cole found McBride. Good enough for Wilson. To get on with it quickly here with Winter. And there's Winter with the shot block, McBride with the effort. It goes from Colin. Here's Smith. Just drags it wide. Not bad try. Right, it's made to the box. And it was a lively little try. Fearing overs put themselves under a lot of pressure here. Winter. Hat comes in. Winter carries on playing. Miller trying to fucking bring it. Happened down enough defensively. Smith carries on his run. Was he fouled in there? Yes, he was. Says the referee. Penalty to East Kilbride. There was one or two done to the end. Flick the third time. Sean Winter with the summer haircut with the goal. From the spot, 19 minutes gone. And no saving that, keeping it the wrong way. He's got right in front in this quarter final of the Lone League Cup. Clapperton loses that, and now here comes Anton Brady. Seeing the space for Jack Smith. Smith's efforts. And the whole keeper holds on to it as well. So. Miller as well to see the continuing run of call. Oh, and it's deflected, I think, off the post. I think the keeper had a touch. Me well, defender, me well, I've got a little flick too. Brady skips away from Scott. He's trying to skip through them all. Eats and trying to stop it, but here's Smith. Whistle goes. Scott. Oh, poor pass and Eke in again with Hastings. Smith, nice flick. Going to take on Hope, gets past Hope. It's a wonderful goal, is it? No, but it's off the post of the keeper and then. And Proctor, what was he doing up there? But he's got the goal. He's really blinded into this EK side. Smith with the effort. I thought it was nestling in the corner, 
but the keeper are confused. Couldn't get it away, and Proctor makes it two. That's a great goal to score five minutes from half time. Now here's Smith. Good play there, sent towards Craig Hastings, and they've bundled it over the line. Wonderful work to prod it in eventually. And that's 3 0 in the run riot. Two quick goals, and here comes Hastings again. Fair and over, Dean half time, a slip in there from Allen. Oh, it's waiting. Craig Hastings with another, and it's three goals in about four and a half minutes. And the keeper, I don't know what he was doing. Mark Wilson that time, completely confused. I can't believe it's 4 0 now. And Smith, who came on Ross Smith there in the first half, set up the goal for Hastings, his first goal anyway. Hastings scored twice at the end of this first half, Proctor in the 40th minute. And that scoreline is rather escalated after Winter scored a penalty in the first uh, 19 minutes, it was. And a baffling end to the first half if you're Stephen Noble, the Galfuri Rovers manager. 4 0 at the break to Kilby. Is East Kilbride that get us going for the second half. 4 0 to the good. Lamb and the Suns, but lost it. And now forward comes Brady. Oh, and it's going to come through here. Oh, and he's not scored. I can't believe it. Steve Noble's shaking his head there. Carefully Noble's manager. He's shaking his head with how the first half played off. They're trying to get one back and ball forward here for Stuart Noble. And he's fluffed his lines to get one back. They've tried to be a bit more positive in the second half. They have one or two half chances here. Trying to get forward again. Our Fairy Rovers with Lamb in the mix. Here's Hay. Jackie, great run in, it's Jackie, and he scores. And the man who made it 4 4 he was a Selkirk player here against EK back near the start of the season. Moved to Galifian Rovers in the winter period, and great skill. He's got a bit of talent, this lad, and won on the board at least for Galifian Rovers through Jack Hay. Of course, EK went on to win that. Game 5 4. That will have ended scored in that game. He scored to make it 4 0. But he's done enough to equalise for second that day. Now Gala trying to get a second with Noble in here. Oh, and he's taking a shot on, but he was alongside to tap it in. All clear away. First of all, by Anton Brady. Brady forward for Hastings, trying to get the hat trick, but he's going to set up here. Oh, he nearly fumbled it. <laughs> it's picked in for Miller. I'm sure, his heart nearly stopped when the first touch went slightly right. <laughs> he nearly fell over, but it's Wellington anyway, and there's five. I'm trying to get it on Scott there and I've kind of stood still here with Jack Smith though and he's not connected with that as I wanted. He kicked forward and he took the head off there, no worries for UK defence. Well done by Stephen. HSN. I'll see from again, mate. Straight at him. One, two works well. Hardy getting it back. Smith wanting it. Plays it back to Hardy. Doesn't come to anything. And 
Barney forwards, here's Smith. Michael in the mix, and it's from somewhere we found its way to the keeper. Come back to H, and here the block comes in. Brady. Oh, and there's a chance, and they've not quite found the way to go, but that's the final whistle anyway. And East go right through to a semi final of another cup competition. What a season they're having for cup competitions. As I mentioned at the top, they know about winning this cup competition as well. And they're through to the semi final. Goals from Winter in the first half from the penalty spot, then a crazy five minute period at the end of the first half. Proctor with a goal, two from Hastings. Jack Hay got one back in the, just before the hour mark. And then Miller made it 5 1, and EK are through to the semi finals of the Lone League Cup. Full time score East Kilbride 5, Garthian Rovers 1. So ahead, the draw is out, and East Kilbride are up against Cumbernauld Colts in the semi final back at K Park. That is where our next highlights are. Thank you very much, though, to Sean Gill on the camera work, David Cree producing, and from all the team. I keep Park, including myself, Carl Patterson. It's bye from us.